of the inside of the box. Everything is mounted uh, into the rather deep lid with the exception of the 9 volt battery that powers the box. So all the, um, all the elements are mounted into, into the lid. Take this piece of Velcro, I'll cover that in a moment. So you have a fairly large toggle switcher that turns the power on and off. Here's the 1 8 jack for the earpiece. Uh, the LED and a little diffuser mounted in some hot melt glue. And those uh, mount at various points on the circuit board. The, uh, the main device that powers this is an Admega uh, AT328P chip mounted on an Arduino Pro Mini board. This board has been programmed to um, function as a blue box with code that I wrote. It uses some very uh, interesting uh, timer functions to generate synthesized uh, dual tone sine, uh, sine wave uh, tones that are very accurate, uh, extremely accurate in fact, and uh, very low distortion. The uh, pulse width modulated output comes out a single pin and goes into a low pass filter which converts the pulse width modulated output into a uh, analog audio signal uh, with a very simple RC filter made up of a 150 ohm uh, resistor and a 0.33 microfarad capacitor. This 0.1 microfarad blue capacitor couples that into a LM386 audio amplifier. Uh, after the coupling capacitor, I do have a, a resistive divider bridge that uh, reduces the output voltage by a tenth. The uh, gain of the LM386 uh, amplifier is at the default of 20. So padding the output down to um, the level it is prevents it from clipping and still achieves a very nice level of volume. And it also does impedance matching on the output through these output capacitors before being um, routed from this connector out to the jack. So it'll match just about any speaker you plug into it. It's optimized for eight ohms, but it'll drive higher impedance um, speakers and transducers such as this 150 ohm telephone earpiece with no trouble whatsoever. Power is supplied by a 9 volt battery. I've stuck uh, some industrial Velcro a pad down here on the bottom of the box, very high, high strength, and I've taken the, uh, the opposite fuzzy piece and stuck it to the bottom of the battery here and that holds it quite securely without needing to drill a hole for a, a clamp. And I've included some additional pieces here. These can be peeled off and reused with a little care. But there are some additional pieces in here for uh, when batteries need replacement. The box draws almost exactly 30 milliamps, even in the idle state or the, um, or the tone generation state. And a normal 9-volt battery has about 500 milliamp hours of capacity. So at a 30 milliamp draw, that should give you roughly 17 hours of continuous operation. The uh, LED here, you might think, draws a fair amount of current because it's on whenever the box is switched on. It is not under software control, so I didn't want to remove it and risk damaging the board, so I left it there. It only consumes about a half a milliamp out of that 30, so the current draw is fairly insignificant. The um, the uh, four by four matrix keypad pins are connected with these jumpers to uh, the row and column pins that are defined on the on the Admega 328P, and uh, those are scanned and then read uh, as a standard matrix type of uh, of keypad. And then there's other connections here for the uh, the LED and and so forth. So uh, all in all, pretty nice little package. Very accurate tones. Probably has more modes and more uh, tones than any other blue box I've run across, and I tried to include as many kind of esoteric and fun uh, tones here. I have tested this with my Project MF server, which makes blue boxing possible. Uh, you can dial 630-485-2995, and um, that will connect you into the server. And uh, by holding this up to the, uh, the earpiece up to the microphone of the telephone, that will allow you to blue box calls and even route to, um, to uh, actual telephone. You can see the battery saver warning just flipped on, but I don't have it plugged in, so 
you just saw the light flash there. Anyway, um, I'm going to put this together, polish it up a little bit, and um, clean it up, and uh, package it up and send it out. I, uh, I hope you're pleased with the result. And um, that's about it.